Hey guys, Bo Martonic here with the East Meets West Hunt Podcast. I just wanted to give you a little rundown of what my camp looks like. So we're here at bear slash now turkey camp here in Montana in the spring and wanted to do a little bit of a, a different setup instead of a backpack backcountry style or just a typical truck camp. Wanted to make it almost like your traditional deer camp style setup have more of a luxurious uh, atmosphere there, a place that's fun to come back to at night and be able to cook at and feel comfortable. So I went a little bit of a different route this year and it was kind of inspired by my brother, Kurt, who had, had uh, bought a used wall tent online. I was like, I really like that style, but I don't really have the room to be able to fit that in my truck when going driving all the way across the country. I saw that Seek Outside came out with a different style tent that was almost like a wall tent, but lightweight. It only weighed 12 and a half pounds, packs down to next to nothing, and it can fit in my truck and go. And as, as you can see it here behind me, it's huge. And you can comfortably fit two people in all of your gear and a stove, um, but you can honestly fit probably four people in there without any issues in there and stand up and I can't even reach the ceiling in it. So that's kind of the route I decided to go. So with our bear camp, my brother brought his little wall tent that he's just kind of situated in here and just wanted to give you a, a full rundown of how my setup looks, what I have here and the reasons for it. So the camp chef, Kurt, this is Kurt's stove actually, and it's the camp chef, looks like it's the Everest Mountain Series, just a little small double burner. Got a pan on there, we've been frying you know, bacon and eggs and being able to cook that up and his little percolator here to have some nice coffee in the morning and just little table set up, packs down really small, can actually fit right inside uh, the wall tents. But it's nice when we don't want to have the, you know, say, don't want to have just the Heather's Choice dehydrated meals or whatever else and want to have a full on cooking setup, we can do that. So as we keep, as we move along here, um, I bring, always bring five gallons of water with me and a way to filter to be able to get more, but it's just nice to have that at camp. Outside here, brought some different camp chairs, a couple foldable ones, a little bit of nicer Yeti chair here. Um, just comfortable sitting around, hanging out, especially like today, Kurt shot beautiful Miriam's way back in. We came out, we were able to to sit down here and you know talk about the stories enjoy it it's just nice to have chairs uh, at camp and then I brought along a Yeti 75 cooler um, that I keep packed full of ice and have everything there with some drinks some extra stuff but it's also big enough to be able to fit bear meat once we debone it in there and be able to take it back to Pennsylvania with me so let's take a look inside of this courthouse here currently I have the two walls uh, tied out and then there's just the mesh screen that's inside so inside the tent ideally i i would have i have a media or i have a large stove actually from seek outside it's a lightweight titanium stove and stove pipe that would go here and run out through the roof on each side here we have two cabela's cots uh, ones we just picked up and bought they're like the ones that sit up a little bit higher so I have things sitting out to be able to show you now, but typically I can take my Sika Drifter duffel, which has all my clothes in it, stack it underneath it. My Yeti Panga has some extra gear in it, stack it underneath it, and it keeps you a good floor space here and available. Have a little Yeti 35 cooler in here. This is the one I always keep in the back of my truck for drinks and food while I'm on the road. It also acts as kind of like a nightstand here for us. Uh, with a little, I have a Goal Zero lantern sitting on top of it. And Justin actually has a, a smaller Goal Zero lantern hanging up here. So when we're in here at night talking, we have all of that uh, readily available. On top of my cot, I have a uh, Big Agnes, I think it's a Q-Core uh, sleeping pad to add a little bit of insulation to it. And then I have the Sika Light 30 degree sleeping bag. I like that 30 degree sleeping bag for a few reasons because I can pull my hands out from it and I'm able to, to I guess, maneuver and do things while still staying insulated in the sleeping bag. Unzip the bottom and actually walk in the middle of the night if I have to go out and go to the bathroom, anything, I can keep that on and not have that feeling of trying to get out of that warm sleeping bag on a cold night. 
Um, also with this cot, it has these side pockets so you can just store your keys, all those little things, your headlamp, so you don't lose it and it's not scattered throughout the tent. On this side, we just have Justin set up here. So his sleeping bag, his cot, pillow, his tote full of gear, um, some of our boots. Uh, just it's a nice set up here a lot of room you can walk around you can bring the chairs in at night We were podcasting in here hanging out. It's just a really cool setup And I'm actually really looking forward to utilize this for deer hunting in the east um, on Probably on a Montana elk hunt in September Although this is the first time that I've been using this tent and I've only I guess been using it for about four days now it, I'm really impressed with it for how lightweight it is and how well it holds up to the we had 40 50 mile per hour winds the first night and I'm really looking forward to using it more in the future.